They are, my lord, without the palace gate. Bring them before us. To be thus is nothing, but to be safely thus, our fears and Banquo stick deep, and in his royalty of nature brings that which would be feared, tis much he dares, and to dauntless his temper of his mind. He hath the wisdom that doth guide his valor to act in safety. There is none but he whose being I do fear, and under him my genius is rebuked, as it is said. Mark Anthony's was by Caesar. He chid the sisters when first they put the name of king upon me, and bade them speak to him. Then prophet-like they hailed him father to a line of kings. Upon my head they placed a fruitless crown, and put a barren scepter in my gripe. Thence to be wrenched with an unlineal hand, no son of mine is succeeding. If to be so, for Banquo's issue have I filed my mind. For them the gracious Duncan have I murdered, put rancors in the vessel of my peace, peace only for them, and mine eternal jewel given to the common enemy of man, to make them kings, the seed of Banquo kings. Rather than so, come fate into the list, and champion me to the utterance. Who's there? Now go to the door and stay there until we call. Was it not yesterday we spoke together? It was so please, your highness. Well then, now have you considered of my speeches? Know that it was he in the times past which held you so under fortune, which you thought had been our innocent self. This I made good to you in our last conference, passed in probation with you. How you were born in hand, how crossed, the instruments, who wrought with them, and all things else that might to half a soul, and to a notion crazed, say thus did Banquo. You made it known to us. I did so, and went further, which is now our point of second meeting. Do you find your patience so predominant in your nature that you can let this go? Are you so gospel to pray for this good man and for his issue, whose heavy hand hath bowed you to the grave and beggared yours forever? We are men, my liege. Aye, and the catalog ye go for men, as hounds and greyhounds, mongrels, spaniels, curs, shows, water rugs, and demi wolves are clipped all by the names of dogs. The valued file distinguishes the swift, the slow, the subtle, the housekeeper, the hunter, every one according to the gift which bounteous nature hath him closed, whereby he does receive particular addition from the bill that writes them all alike, and so of men. Now, if you have a station in the file, not I, the worst rank of manhood, say it, and I will put that business in your bosoms whose execution takes your enemy off, grapples you to the heart and love of us, who wear our health but sickly in his life, which in his death were perfect. I am one, my liege, whom the vile blows and buffets of the world have I so incensed that I am reckless what I do to spite the world. And I another, so weary with disasters tugged with fortune that I would set my lie on any chance to mend it or be rid on it. Both of you know Banquo was your enemy. True, True my lord. So he is mine, and in such bloody distance, that every minute of his being thrusts against my nearest of life, and though I could with barefaced power sweep him from my sight, and bid my will avouch it, yet I must not, for certain friends that are both his and mine, whose loves I may not drop, but wail his fall, who I myself struck down, and thence it is, that I to your assistance do make love, masking the business from the common eye, for sundry weighty reasons. We shall, my lord, perform what you command us. Though our lives... Your spirits shine through you. Within this hour at most, I will advise you where to plant yourselves. Acquaint you to the perfect spy of the time. The moment, aunt, for must be done tonight. And something from the palace, always thought, that I require a clearness, and with him, to leave no rubs nor botches in the work. Pleon's his son that keeps him company, whose absence is no less material to me than is his father's. Must embrace the fate of that dark hour. Resolve yourselves apart, I'll come to you anon. We are resolved, resolved my, my lord. lord. I'll call upon you straight. Abide within. It is concluded, Banquo, thy soul's flight. If it find heaven, might find it out tonight. Is Banquo gone from court? Aye, madam, but returns to us tonight. 
Say to the king. I would attend his leisure for a few words. I will. Not said. All spent, what our desire has got without content. Tis safer to be than that which we destroy, than by destruction dwell on doubtful joy. My lord, why do you keep alone? Of sorriest fancies your companions making, using those thoughts which should indeed have died, with them they think on. Things without all remedy should be without regard. What's done is done. We have scotched the snake, not killed it. She'll close and be herself, whilst our poor malice remains in danger of her former tooth. But let the frame of things disjoint, both the worlds suffer. Ere we will eat our meal in fear and sleep in the affliction of these terrible dreams that shake us nightly, better be with the dead, whom we to gain our peace have sent to peace, than on the torture of the mind to lie in restless ecstasy. Dungeon is in his grave. After life's fitful fever, he sleeps well. Treason has done his worst, nor steel, nor poison, malice, domestic, foreign levy, nothing can touch him further. I'm gentle, my lord, sleek over your rugged looks. Be bright and jovial, your guest tonight. So shall I, love, and so, I pray, be you. Let your remembrance apply to Banquo. Present him eminence, both with eye and tongue. Unsafe the while that we must leave our honors in these flattering streams, and make our faces vizards to our hearts, disguising what they are. You must leave this. Oh, full of scorpions is my mind, dear wife. Thou knowest that Banquo and his fleance lives. Nature's copies, not in turn. There's comfort yet, they are assailable. Then be thou jocund, ere the bat hath flown. His cloistered flight, ere to black he gets summons. The shard born beetle, with his drowsy hums, hath rung night's yawning peal. There shall be done a deed of dreadful note. What's to be done? Be innocent of the knowledge, dearest Chuck, till thou applaud the deed, come sealing the night. Scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody and invisible hand, cancel and tear to pieces that great bond, which keeps me pale. Light thickens, and the crow makes wing to the rookie wood. Good things of day begin to droop and drowse, while night's black agents to their praise do rouse. Thou marvelst at my words, but hold thee still. Things had begun, make strong themselves by ill. So prithee, go with me. Who did bid thee join with us? Macbeth. He needs not our mistrust, since he delivers our offices and what we have to do to the direction of. Then stand with us, the, the west yet glimmers with some streaks of day, now spurs the latted traveler's face to gain the timely in and near approach, the subject of our watch. Hark, I hear horses. It's a light there, Hope. Within the note of expectations, already are in the court. His horses go about almost a mile, but he does usually, so all men do. From hence to the palace gate, make it their walk. A light, a light. Tis he. Stand to it. It will be rain tonight. Let it come down. Go. Treachery. Fly, good Fleon, fly, fly. Fill my soul of revenge, O oh slave.
did strike out the light. Was not the way. There's but one down. The sun is fled. But we have lost our best half of the fair. Well, let's away and say what we have done.